Hello and welcome to AP Computer Science Principles 1.4, Identifying and Correcting Errors. Let's get into this. So something to note is, when defining inputs into your program, know the requirements of your program and programming language. So if you're using a language like C++, make sure you have a way that the uh, code can be compiled, or else it will not run. If you're using C Sharp or F Sharp, make sure you have .NET installed so it would run. Um, and sometimes, when you're defining an input, uh, the code may be different per language. So to put in something, uh, you'll have to put an apostrophe or quotations. It just depends on the language. So that needs to um, be known before you start debugging or writing your program. Now, when testing your program, uh, testing will show if the program is producing the expected outcomes. Is it producing the results that you want to do, uh, what you coded it to do? Testing can point out errors that need to be corrected. Programmers use the results from testing to revise their program. Maybe something goes too fast or too slow, or maybe it uh, it has too much or too little. Uh, testing will show uh, the outcome when you uh, publish your program. Now, errors. Errors are caused when your programming isn't running correctly. This is because you didn't follow the syntax of the program. Your computer can't store the program or there's just too much of code or there's the wrong code uh, errors are different on a case-by-case -case basis uh, they can be small or they can be large the first error we're going to go into is the runtime error uh, a runtime error is pretty simple to memorize because it's just an error when the program is running every programming language has their own runtime errors so a javascript runtime error is going to be different than a c runtime error uh, some examples of runtime errors are going to be a missing file or other programs. Maybe your JavaScript file needs an HTML file to run, and you don't have that HTML file. Uh, so that might cause a runtime error. Incorrect output. Maybe your C-sharp is going to go to this area, but it needs to go to this output. Or undefined data. You put zero into your data. That may cause undefined data. The next is a syntax error. This is a mistake caused the program's code not being written correctly. So examples might be missing commas, missing parentheses, missing quotation marks, missing semicolons. Here is uh, a syntax error example. So on the left, um, we have no error. This is JavaScript, by the way. So we have no error right here. But then we have the syntax error on the right. As you can see, they are missing their parentheses around uh, the text, what is your age? For this function. Uh, the function itself, it divides your age by two, no, it adds two, and then it divides that by two. Uh, but you can see here, missing parentheses, that caused the syntax error. Next is the logic error, which is a mistake in your program's code that causes results incorrectly or unexpectedly. Some examples may be wrong values. Maybe you wanted it to be 12, but instead it's going to be 20. Uh, double code. Let's say, uh, let's go back to our syntax error. Uh, you can see here A++. That will just add 1 to the uh, age that you put in. Now you can see it's here twice. This may cause a logic error because it's there twice. So double codes where you have the same code there twice. Maybe you copy and pasted it or you wrote it out twice because you didn't think you wrote it out the first time. Then we have missing values, variables, or elements. Maybe you have a variable but you don't have a name for it. All right. Now, the next one is an overflow error, which is when a computer runs a calculation, but it cannot be stored on the computer. Maybe you don't have enough space on your computer, or it's just a too high of a number in your value that it just won't work. Um, some examples may be high values, high results, too little storage. Um, one with JavaScript is you just keep uh, looping a number over and over again that it may crash your website. All right, multiple choice question practice. Let's read it out. Jacob wants to write a message using C Sharp. He accidentally forgets to add a string into the code before he ex ex executes it. What type of error is caused? Pause the video if you need more time to answer the question. The correct answer is C. It's a logic error. You forgot to add a string, meaning that you forgot to add the program's code. So it's going to be a logic error. Now, you didn't forget to write, you know, a semicolon or parentheses. So it's not going to be a syntax error. Uh, the computer can't store everything and it's running fine, uh, you know, because that's logic error. So it's not going to be an overflow error. And there's no error with the program running. So it's not a runtime error, which is just leaving a logic error because you're missing an element of value in your code. All right. 
Now we can get into debugging. So let's get into test cases. Now a test case is a document which has a set of test data, preconditions, expected results, and post conditions developed for a particular test scenario in order to, to verify compliance against a specific requirement. This is from tutorialspoint.com. Tutorialspoint.com. All right, now let's get into hand tracing. Uh, which is another type of debugging, printing out your code and creating a table on the side for each variable that shows the data and expected output. This can help determine if your program will run correctly. So as you can see here, we have a uh, variable and some data right here in this code. And then we here, we have our hand tracing. So they write the variable, they write the sum, which is, you can see here, uh, that's a whole different variable. And then we have the integer digit, and then we have the output. What is going to happen when it is run. Visualizations, which is kind of having a mental image, a graph, a table, or a sketch of what your program is supposed to look like when it's executed. So maybe you have a, uh, a program that says start, like a game, and so you draw out what it's supposed to look like. And then when you run it, if it doesn't, if it looks exactly like you want it to be, then it's fine. If it doesn't, you can go back on your visualization and see what is wrong. The next type is output statements, which is adding extra output statements basically adding extra output statements can show where the error is coming from and if it's happening every execution so if you have a c plus plus program and it's going to uh this certain file or part of your computer to output maybe you want to put uh, different outputs more files and then you can see if it's happening every single time this may help you uh determine where the error is coming from debuggers uh, which are separate programs, so separate programs by themselves. These are not part of your program that you have. These can de con detect and correct errors in your computer programming, which is most helpful for syntax errors. So in Visual Studio, there's like some debugging debuggers in there that'll uh, underline some errors, basic syntax errors, so forgetting your parentheses or your colons. All right, that's a wrap up. So we've learned why testing is important, what causes different types of errors, and how to identify incorrect errors. There's a scale check in the description below. Complete it. It'll help you do it.